Mm -hmm. Welcome to the day. Happy Friday. Just clear some energy in here. And just check in on how you're feeling today. I've got some things to prep, but um, gotta get that music going. Gotta close this door, you know. But take this time to just feel into your vessel and just feel how you feel right now. Feel how you feel in this moment Before we know you, you could be gone, gone So hold on tightly Do not do tight things, surrender So I was in this this space <laughs> and I spilled water everywhere. So I'm in somewhere new <clears throat> which is fine. Um It's just not like super organized right now. One moment. <coughs> View in the chat. is will be do you realize that beautiful soul you don't have to push you don't have to force a thing in this life in fact it's a really great indication of something that is out of alignment when you find yourself pulling something into you pushing 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 for something running 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 after something you know that what you attract, you cannot chase. <clears throat> if it's coming to you, how can you be running after it? If it's aligned in your energy, how can how can you be chasing it, you know? What is that chasing energy? What is that about? Are you in a place of control? Are you feeling the need to be in control right now? Why is that, beautiful soul? Why? Why do you have to know every single thing that is to come in your life? You know... <clears throat> This has been part of my venture, part of my journey. I used to be a control freak. I had to know everything that happened. And so let me explain this with one word. Through my study and my, my, um, my motion here. One word, <clears throat> my motion here. And that is prevention. Mm. 
Hydrate. Beautiful souls hydrate. The word is... <clears throat> the word is prevention. I spent so many years of my life... <clears throat> fixated on the notion of prevention. This has happened, and therefore I want to prevent it from happening again. Therefore, I'm gonna make sure it never happens again. That happened to that person. I see that they're struggling with that. I don't wanna struggle. I don't wanna struggle with that. So I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna prevent myself from doing that. So you may ask yourself, what am I preventing myself from? And you may find that the thing you've been preventing yourself from, the very notion, the act, everything you've been preventing yourself from is life itself. <clears throat> Literal life. You have been keeping yourself from living because of the whole entire notion of prevention. I don't want this to happen. Oh, I don't, I fear this. And that's where the fear comes up. And then you start feeling it in your body, especially if it's based on something that has already happened. And so you ask yourself, well, this happened before. What has happened since then? Did I indeed learn from that situation? Or am I afraid that if in that situation again, I would indeed choose the wrong route again? Do you believe that if given the circumstances to replay this lesson, would you choose a more advantageous route for your higher self? Or would you choose the same route and end up Oh, and those those emotions again, those mixed emotions, the ones that bring you uh, anxiety when you think about it. The notion is self-trust. You must trust yourself, beautiful soul. You must. When you trust yourself, you are able to rely on the very actions that you take moving forward with or without having made mistakes okay you have so much grace on yourself regardless of where you are regardless of where you end up and it's a beautiful journey here so making making sure that you fit in the same box every day so to make sure that you know the variables in your life so that you know that things can't be messed up so that you know that you have the same day every day is a ginormous, ginormous force field that you have built around yourself. And I understand that it's comfortable and I understand that you get to be in the control here. But I'm telling you now, the way out is outside, outside of those doors. Speaking and communicating with other people, sharing energies with other souls, sharing your story, sharing what you've learned in this life so far. You might think it means nothing. You might think that you don't know anything and that you can't teach anyone anything. You are wrong, beautiful soul. You are so wrong. We all have something to teach. We all have even platforms to do so on. Do this. Okay, I'm going to challenge you. Pick up a video recorder or a voice recorder, your phone, and record yourself talking about something that you're passionate about. Let's hear it. Talk about something you are passionate about. Talk about what you are excited about for the day. Talk about uh, an event or something within your life that you are super excited about. Sit with that notion and that moment and truly get to the bottom of it. Hello, Angelina. And get to the bottom of it because you getting to know yourself is going to be imperative. Loving yourself, getting to know yourself so that when you do take those impulses, when you do reach for the next action, you know that you trust what's next. You know that last time, maybe wasn't the best but this time you've learned and you know and you trust that you're fine you trust that you are okay and that's really all that you can do it's so just all that you can do 
and having grace for yourself along the way is is going to be your power every time i always get the question of how do you stay so so positive how do you uh easily move on to the next thing without it holding you down or bringing you down and and i just i really live in the embodiment of impermanence nothing here is permanent every single thing goes away uh, meditation with a monk actually helped me with that mindset uh, putting it into words but it's always just been a philosophy of mine to just keep it keep flowing keep moving this is a lesson this is something what is this teaching me okay how what was my input in this okay what was my mindset on it what did i contribute to this portion of my life there's no victim victim role at all in this none um and so what you're gonna want to do is have that grace for yourself love yourself inhale love for yourself let's do that right now take a deep breath 12 12 Take a deep breath and exhale. Inhale, love. Exhale, any stagnant energy within you that is not serving you. Any voice in your head that is telling you that you are not enough any voice in your head that is telling you that you won't make it that you aren't good enough is wrong and when you build this relationship with yourself and you get to know yourself and you get to know what your flow is how you move in an innate response to everything you you end up seeing how awesome you actually are. You know how you know how awesome you are, how amazing you are, how full of love you are, how kind you are when you're around other souls. There's so much to to commend yourself on. And so when those thoughts come up, you're like just like you would with anyone tell, saying something about you. You would look at him and be like, mm, "No, actually, I know myself. I know that I'm bomb. I know that I'm the best. I know that in whatever situation I go into, I'm going to provide the best and most safe response and place for me." Okay? I know I'm not going to sabotage myself and end up in some some wild adventure in my timeline, and if I do, here I go for another lesson, okay? I'm not on the other side kicking myself, saying, oh, I'm so whatever for whatever. It's just like, oh, that's, that's me, okay? What did I learn this time? There's zero tolerance, guys, and I'm just gonna just lay this out. There is zero tolerance for being down on yourself, literally ever catch it catch it in the moment whenever you hear a negative thought in your head you catch that shit as if you would with a friend okay treat your inner voice and treat yourself as if you are a friend would you ever in your life say that to your friend ever <laughs> hell no hell no absolutely not so you don't say it to yourself okay and i don't really i'm not gonna go with the examples i really don't even um I don't have examples. I'm ne I'm not down on myself. I just there's like I was saying there's zero tolerance. None. Okay? None. I guess if I were to say a negative thought would come up, my mind would be like maybe like you're not going to get that done in time or something and I'm like, "Well, we're fine. We're going to get it done." or something along those lines. But um but if you do have negative thoughts, just psh get that out of here those they think of them as just tests to see where you are in your journey to see how you're going to react and where you are within your self-love can you love yourself enough to give yourself grace in the times that you are not living up to the self that you really 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 intend to be every day but it's okay when you don't show up as that person but can you give them grace can you wake up the next day and say yes i am the shit i am everything i'm gonna conquer literally everything that i say i am and i win i win in everything i win this is my life i design this thing i get to be in the writer's seat of what happens in my life and i win this is mine <laughs> well 
Well, just being grateful, patting yourself on the back, having the, the audacity to say those things, to say, I love myself, to say, I am the shit, to say, I am everything, I'm the world, I'm the creator, I am source, I am a goddess, I am, I am all of that. And I know it, I know it. And when I walk out into the world, others know it because they feel it, they feel that energy. And so just imagine a world where we're all in our self-love and we all just get to thrive and who we are and then we go out into the world and then everyone else is just vibing in their lights. And, it, and no one can tell anyone anything about each other unless it's like harmful. And that's just a conversation for another day of like how to tell your friend or someone you've just met that what they're saying is out of line. Like go process and program that but <laughs> it's a whole nother day um with all of that said we're gonna take this moment to just just feel into our bodies right now this self-love and and really honor this moment honor those who maybe don't have as accessible energy when it comes to self-love those who don't feel worthy if you are feeling in a place of just high worthiness you feel amazing you feel like you can take on the world channel some of that energy and some of that positivity out into the world into every soul that you can any soul that can muster this energy give them some worthiness Give them some love, give them some light, help them feel like they belong here on this planet because every single one of you do. You all belong. <coughs> mm. Another deep breath. channel that energy out to those beautiful souls and if your cup isn't full today that's okay we're gonna fill it right now gonna feel the soul just cherish and honor this stillness As we saturate the things we just spoke of, <clears throat> self-love, worthiness, you are worthy. <clears throat> Just invite whatever thoughts come to you right now. Allow whatever emotions to come to you right now. And try to practice being an observer, the watcher of your thoughts. View them come and go. Notice what emotions arise upon the thoughts and then allow them to float away. The mind objects. And remember the breath, the blessings to your body, to your vessel.
Remember the breath. Keep inviting those deep breaths into your body. Deep breath, the deepest you've taken all day. And exhale. <clears throat> and inhale again, and this time a nice big deep breath and hold it as you invite all the love into your soul, into your vessel. Hold it. And release any stagnant energy. <sighs> Goodbye, what is no longer serving me. Goodbye, anything that makes me feel unworthy. Goodbye to anything that makes me feel unloved. Mm. And invite in unconditional love. Unconditional love for you. Invite worthiness. that power take in all that you need whatever you need beautiful soul it is always accessible within you it's always within you that's the best thing ever you can be you can be at a mall or a busy place or somewhere that someone is real their energy is just not great you can be anywhere you always have yourself you literally always have you so you could step away you can breathe you can feel into your emotions feel how your body feels and answer to what they're telling you answer to your body answer to your mind answer to your soul what do you all what are you all calling for right now 
like the I'm telling you the relationship with yourself is life-changing it is so powerful so important and it is your number one mission right now your number one mission is to love yourself more every single day every day baby you can do it you can do it and I love you so so much I love you you belong here you are honored here you are cherished here we need you everyone around you needs you oh my goodness please Please, please. Mm -hmm. Whew, so let's just release. Release. <laughs> wow. So I hope that the pause is wonderful. You're feeling loved. You're feeling light. You're feeling welcomed. I'm just going to pull an oracle new moon intention we have a new moon in a couple of days and it's a new moon in scorpio and oh my goodness it's gonna be it's a big i mean you guys have to look at your birth charts you've got to know how this moon is going to affect you what house is it in where are the other planets is it transiting anything because then you're going to get to know how your next week is going to go because this moon in scorpio I'll talk more about the new moon on Monday, but um, let's do this. If you are enjoying this, please um, just merge your energies with mine. Let me feel your energies. Uh, like, share, subscribe, comment how you're feeling, comment that you love yourself, comment that you are the shit, that you were the best, that you are everything in the world. Everything you are. And let's see what um, let's see what the universe has to say to us today with this oracle message. Da, 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 da. It's Friday. All of my days are are the same. There's no like end week. It's taken some. I did pull from this deck earlier. They're probably like we gave you a message. What is the energy of today? Let me know, okay? You're not giving me anything. What's going on, baby? Let's get a message. I want to hear it. All okay. right. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh my goodness, I, I pulled Happy Body earlier. And that, I mean, they're like, look we said what we said <laughs> it's so great okay so the we pulled happy body and happy spirit so this is a message for us this is a message for you right now the 32 happy spirit is number 32 and happy body is number 33 <laughs> oh that's so wonderful angelina thank you for sharing that it's amazing lit a candle and close your eyes listening to my voice that's wonderful so happy spirit i float through this life with an easy and grateful spirit resisting nothing but allowing all to unfold as it should around me <laughs> resisting nothing my soul is happy to be back on this planet and i joyfully engage the terms of my soul's contract in this lifetime Stop. Don't stop. But oh my goodness. Wow. Even just the wording, my soul is happy to be back on this planet. I'm so glad to be a human. I always say that. I always love bringing, bringing light to our humanness of who we are. And it's just so beautiful. And I joyfully engage in the terms of my contract of my soul's contract in this lifetime, which mine is to heal, is to heal people, to awaken, initiate, and help them on their journeys to heal themselves, which starts with self-love, pure self-love. And through my mission, w the way that I do that is loving myself deeply so that I show up in the vibration of unconditional self-love and then help other people love themselves. It's absolutely beautiful. Whatever your purpose is, it's going to align in the same way. It's going to feel like something that's just 
like snapping a finger or waking up and being like you're literally being yourself while others benefit from your energy and learn how to how to use such energy <laughs> it's so beautiful it's wonderful so at the end of the day when you're like what's my purpose sit back and and take it all in and vision it what is your purpose feel into it because you might all, your your body knows already happy body 33 so my body gives and receives pleasure and is a vehicle for divine and loving expression of desire Ooh, Scorpio season, yes. I enjoy the sensual pleasures of this world through my body, receiving each sensation of pleasure in gratitude and surrender. Mm. Don't we just love that? Happy body. <laughs> With that said, be sure to honor yourself, okay? I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this. Self-love is also self-love, okay? Don't be afraid to just feel on your body, get sensual, give yourself an orgasm so that you can enjoy what it's like to love yourself in that way rather than leaving it for someone else, okay? <laughs> I hope that you have the best day ever and thank you so much for joining me today. Keep breathing if you feel so to it, but absolutely cherish this moment, cherish this humanship, and love yourself. I love you. <laughs>